Okay, so today Harney is going to be talking about the Q finite ZX calculus. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so, so today I will talk about the Q finite ZX calculus as a unified framework uh, of QD ZX calculus. Um, so how to do? Yeah. So I first I will talk about the uh, QD ZX calculus, including the generators, loops, and the properties, uh, and the normal form. And then I talk about the Q finite ZX calculus. Uh, first, so I will just uh, compare the um, to let to to let you know and uh, the the QB ZX calculus. And so I will compare with the QB ZX calculus. So first, for the generators, um, we have uh, for in QB case we have the uh, uh, the green spider. Uh, but here, so I have uh, um, I use the the general one. I mean, they use any complex number as a, as a face. And uh, then in the QD case, generalization, so uh, it's just uh, um, from the uh, two dimensional to uh, D dimensional. So basically you have, uh, you have like D, min D minus one uh, parameters. Uh, but for the usual cir circle uh, style, uh, Z spider, so you can see um, it is included in this, uh, in this formalism. The alpha means uh, uh, e to i alpha the phase, um, and then in the QD case, there there are like a d minus one angles, and it's corresponding to e to i alpha, so it's the same. And that's the generalization of the uh, z spider, and the for the other spider uh, other generators and the qubit Hadamard. So here I just use the uh, non-normalized one. I mean, there's no scalar here. Just uh, um, you can see just this matrix in the qubit case. So in the qubit case, uh, because it's not self, uh, it's not self-adjoint. So we need a hardma, so which is uh, uh, discrete uh, uh, Fourier transformation uh, without the, the scalar here, and uh, we also need a. Uh, a Harman dagger, which is the inverse of the uh, the uh, generalized Harman, and also I mean the swap uh, can be uh, generalized in this way. You just swap the basis. Mm, the 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 cap and the calf can also be easily generalized in QD the case. Uh, so I, I don't need to talk a lot about that. So the, the, the most important thing is I use triangle uh, as I always used in algebraic ZX calculus. So in the, uh, the, the triangle, I mean the qubit one, is the, the, the symbol is in, introduced by, by the Nancy team, uh, Simon and, uh, it is, uh, and his team I mean, uh, with uh, interpretation. Is this a, a simple matrix? Um, but in in the QD case, how do we in the general D, D dimension uh, uh, case, how do we generalize the triangle? That's uh, uh, that's actually is a uh, is a essential thing uh, when we want to use that for QD and ZX. So here, so so you could try uh, try different ways, but the important thing is you, you want to make sure that uh, once you introduce this kind of uh, triangle, then it should have uh, how to say the the similar rules as in qubit case, so it should be uh, good enough to use. That's a uh, basic idea. So here, uh, so here I just use a, a triangle in the qubit case as a, um, a matrix, which um, in which means uh, in the diagonal, the all the diagonal elements are one, and the first all the elements of the first row are, are one. Uh, and then all the other places are just zero. Yeah, just first row and the diagonal, they are all one. And so once you have this uh, uh, this triangle, then it's easy to get the, uh, the triangle inverse. They just, uh, uh, this here, this, this place is just B minus one. Okay, that's the triangle. And the, how about the, um, how about the X spider? So uh, 
of course you can define as uh, as uh, i mean like use the hard map for uh, for any angles but here uh, for completeness we just want to uh, we just we just want to use uh, some uh, some uh, some classic uh, uh, phases like uh, here in the qubit case we just want the um, zero and the pi has two angles and uh, and the, um, then you can see once you define the x by the in this way the the, mm, the the good thing is you don't need here you can you can have all the you can you can see the coefficient is just one so that means it can be easy to uh, generalize to and to the uh, sampling case. So similarly here, so we can um, we can just uh, generalize to the QD case uh, with D including the uh, with KJ with with D actually D uh, uh, phases uh, phase vectors actually. So it's like this. So we can define by the the uh, Z spider and uh, Harama dagger and Harama. And yes, I forgot to mention that all the diagrams should be read from top to bottom. So you can see here just, uh, uh, you can see here just the expression, uh, the interpretation for, for this uh, X spider. I mean, you can see also the, um, because we have choose to, to ignore the uh, coefficient of the Harama gate and Harama dagger, then you can get this, uh, Red spider um, has no efficient here, so that means it is it can be easily uh, it can be how to say um, so if you don't want to uh, in the, if you want to generalize to uh, to the sampling case then you you don't need uh, the Hallman Hamba dagger but you can uh, directly define the uh, the X spider. That's the idea. And also, uh, the good thing is, once you have the, um, once you define the X spider in this way, then you, um, I mean, then there's a lot sorry, of cases. Sorry, Harney? Sorry. Could you, could, you, could you go back one slide? Yeah. Uh, you have a KJ in your <laughs> definition, but it doesn't appear in your, uh, in the, the matrix, the linear map it's equal to at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just to define. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, for if we just use the X spider, it doesn't matter. I mean, but if you define in terms of the Z spider, uh, then then you need these uh, phases uh, parameters. Okay, but the KJ, how do they modify the linear map? Like, how does it just add? Like, because you have this I one plus I M equals like this mod D kind of thing. How is that modified if your KJ is not zero? Uh, modify. I mean, he. he, he do, do you mean here? Yes. Yes. How is that modified? I mean, that that's the that's the. I mean, K because this is uh, just uh, the uh, how to say. This this is just the uh, uh, integers. I mean, but uh, in in the in the ring, right? You know, mm -hmm. in the the that the ring, right? Right. But if you change your KJ, the linear map changes as well, right? How does it change? I'm J. Just just J KJ. This J is fixed. Oh, it's right. Fixed. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's zero, then zero. Like here is just a, you have zero, one. I mean, in the QB. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. <laughs> okay. Another good thing is uh, if you use this kind of uh, X spider, then you don't have a lot of uh, scalars in your loops. Um, so this is a qubit case loose. Then I just uh, list it here as a uh, 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 comparison. You can see. To the uh, QD loose, the QD loose is uh, quite similar. I mean, so you have the Z spider fusion loop, but for now, because we have any numbers uh, as parameters, so it's not uh, addition anymore. It's the uh, multiplication uh, point wise, and this is uh, uh, similar to the QD case. And here you can you can then you can this is not necessary to be a loop. I mean, can be derived, but they, because we have a hard map, but but I just list here. I mean, then you can have the uh, fusion, but here just one one line. And also the copy loop, the byte blow, and the the, the the similar to pi copy. And uh, and the non usual thing is here. I mean, here you have the um, you have the it, 
if you apply the Hanuman and Hama dagger uh, in different uh, uh, direction, I mean, here, if you put uh, the Hanuman dagger on top, and but here, if you put uh, the Hanuman dagger on, at the bottom, then they are, you can see here, the KJ uh, uh, becomes KD minus J. So that is a uh, uh, transformation here. So that means the color changing loop, you have, uh, have, uh, uh, have this additional equation. And also, I mean, the Hadama and the Hadama and the Hadama, they have, uh, uh, in this case, they have uh, a scalar, but this is a dualizer. I, I, I also call this, this dualizer or, uh, as a D diagram. Uh, I didn't show here, but uh, I just uh, point out. Um, and can also I, this. Uh, oh, yeah. sorry. Can I ask uh, the S3 rule? I think, uh, so, in the, so in your previous papers on Q-trix, uh, Q-trick completeness, you, the S3 rule wasn't in there because it's the green. Which, sorry, which loop? S3, so the cup and cap, yeah. So uh, say your uh, green, that, yeah. Well, I mean, the cup and cap, they're not equal to the, I did, like the spider of the color matters because the snake equations with just one green and one red is a dualizer, but snake equations with both uh, yeah. cup and cap the same color. Spider yeah. is, is just the identity wire. So I'm wondering, uh, how is this at real added since your future completeness papers? Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, this one is just, uh, I mean, at that paper, I just take the, the actually take them, how to say, just take this um, as induced from the, uh, the green uh, spider. But, but here, I just, uh, this is the compact structure here. So, so Harney, do you, do you define the, the, the blank, cap to be the green cap, which is different from the red cap? No, no, no. Uh, here, I didn't define, uh, in that paper, I defined it. But here, I didn't define it. I just, uh, I just uh, use, use the cap and the cap as generator, but uh, I use this as a loop. It's three as a loop. OK. But, but if I see a cap and a cup without a dot on it, I guess that means the green cap and cup. Uh, I mean, yeah. According to this loop, they are the same. But uh, but uh, but I mean, define. Uh, I mean, the, the the how to say the, the ambient category. Uh, I would like to first to have a cap and a cap mm -hmm. because they can be they can have has a interpretation. Uh, yeah. Also, one one last question. Uh, yeah. is, is this this is a just like the stabilizer? Qubit, is this just the stabilizer qubit zx calculus? Is this just complete for stabilizers? Okay. No, 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 I didn't finish this. This is the first table. I have another. Okay, table. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but but here I didn't. I I, I even. I mean, I just uh, do a generalization. I mean, I, I, I here I didn't list. I didn't uh, claim that they are complete. I need to maybe need to add some more rules for completeness. I will talk about it later. So here. Another thing is like the if you have this dualizer, I mean they can change. If you you want to commute with the, the A, and the, the, the face the single uh, QD face, then then they have, then you will change the direction, the order of the parameters here. And also there is uh, the, the other loose is uh, has a triangle involved, so uh, they are mostly uh, generalization uh, from the qubit case, uh, like like the basis you can change. Use basis, and here like the uh, like su successor and this inverse and this face copy. This uh, also the addition of the faces and the sy symmetry and the associativity. You have all of them. You have all of them. That's that means uh, basically that means oh uh, the, the generalization of the triangle is is is, is I think is okay. It's good, and also you have another thing. So the th this one is also similar. But be careful about the, the direction I mentioned before. And also you have this, the triangle and the dualizer, they can commute. And uh, this one I need, uh, uh, I need to use it as a loop. Uh, in the qubit case, this can be derived. And also this can be derived in the, in the qubit case. But for now, I just need, need them. Okay, that's, that's basically the, the loops um, I have. And I will show, based on this loose and the diagrams, I want to share some, a little bit uh, properties of the QD the ZS calculus. And first, we can prove, that with this loose, we can prove that all this, the dualizer, uh, no matter you, uh, in the QD the case, not any, uh, it, no matter how, how do you draw them, I mean, th this, there are four different ways, but they're all equal, they're all equal. 
uh, I don't want to give the proof here. I just 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 want to show that uh, the QDIT ZSKX has this property. And also, if you um, the the last thing is if you uh, if this this uh, uh, generalize the how to say C not. So if you uh, move if you move this uh, green this green uh, spider, you just uh, move. Uh, what and then you got uh, here you got the uh, uh, d minus wires more wires and uh, uh, in another way it, it, you can use uh, just a d gate here and similarly if you i mean it doesn't matter whether uh, the green is on the left or right you always if you move forward uh, or upward then you will, will change a little bit and uh, for the hop floor, and uh, uh, in the qubit case, we have the if the green and the red are connected by two wires, then they are disconnected. Uh, but in the qubit case, uh, and then if they are connected by d wires or or multiple of d, then they are disconnected. And uh, um, and combine this, you can you can get that if the the green and the red nodes they are connected by k wires, and if you move it, move the upward upward upward, and then you got from k and you got d minus k. And similar if the uh, the red is on the left. So this is a kind of uh, uh, that tot not totally uh, uh, symmetric, but it's a kind of uh, symmetry here. <laughs> uh, and also um, some problems about the uh, mm, um, the triangles. Uh, we know that in the in the cubic case, the uh, triangle inverse can be decomposed as as the green pi and the triangle and the green pi. But here in the QD case, uh, you need and the, the the pi can be generalized to the uh, vector which whose uh, parameters are all minus one. And uh, the last thing is um, for the uh, uh, for in the QD case we have uh, uh, we have this uh, equality. So this equality is important for uh, for the pro for proving the um, completeness. Uh, especially, you want to prove that two uh, two normal form, uh, the tensor of two normal form can still be uh, uh, rewriting into a normal form. So here, that means if you uh, have one identity and tensor with uh, this kind of a diagram, then you got uh, a whole diagram. Here, this is uh, disconnected, but here it's connected. Um, let's show this property here. Uh, yeah, that's the, uh, uh, you can see that can show some features of uh, QD to uh, uh, ZS calculus. Okay, so um, normal form, we need normal form. So, so to have a normal form, we want to have some row addition and, and the row multiplication. So first, for row addition, I, I just need to um, because I just I just want to from the the bottom. I don't I don't I here I don't need for completeness. I don't need, I don't need all the row addition. I just need the from the uh, giving uh, from the bottom. If I want to from bottom uh, times uh, some a j to the to the uh, to the j's from zero to the j's row, and then uh, this element. This elementary matrix can be represented by this diagram. So, what is this diagram? This diagram means, oh, sorry, I, I uh, uh, so this is a case, is, is, sorry, this is just a qubit case. This is just a qubit case. You can see this is a two, two, uh, two to m minus one. So, here you can just uh, uh, connect it, um, the AJ just connected to the, the, with the triangle to the green, and uh, from, but from the bottom, connect to some. To, to some of the the the, uh, the, the branches j1 to js and then what uh, then then from this diagram so what uh, so what kind of ele elementary matrix it is I and mean, that means uh, so from the top, bottom line so which line which line which row do you want to add to that that can be calculated by j uh, equal to uh, 2 minus 1 um, Two to m minus one minus uh, this uh, these things, and so it depends on the j one and j s the connections. 
uh, similarly so in the um, so for the uh, low multiplication just on the bottom uh, bottom row uh, so you, you you to represent this elementary matrix you just need this diagram so this is basically generalized the uh, generalize the uh, and gate and with the uh, face uh, with the face here uh, this this one is what what would we want to multiply okay that's in the cubic case so so in the um cubic case you can generalize it the directly so here uh, you still have uh, you want to you have a um D, D to M minus one times D to M minus one matrix, uh, elementary matrix. That's from the bottom row, uh, U times A to the, the element A to the, uh, to the, to the else, uh, to the else row. And that this, this matrix can be re represented by this diagram. But here, the face A, the face vector is, uh, is, all of them are uh, zero except the last one is a. That's the number you want to time with, and also this connected with triangle, the, the generalized triangle to the to the different uh, branches, and uh, you connect to you connect to the to the, the bottom and uh, with the the, the, the red spider, but uh, um, from bottom of the a green green a, but uh, uh, here uh, you can have. Uh, you can have different because of the hop floor is not is generalized, so you can have K1 and KS, etc. Uh, different uh, have have K1 wires or KS wires, and then how do you define? Uh, how do you how do you find uh, which row do you want to multiply to? So it, it is the can be calculated um, by this this uh, formula. So basically, is based on the uh, and K depends on K1 and KS and J1 and JS. So that's the uh, row multiplication from the bottom row. And similarly, um, for the row multiplication uh, on the bottom row, so you just uh, have this uh, um, very similar uh, diagram. Uh, so, but here, uh, be careful that uh, now the, the, the face, the, the form of this, the face vector is, uh, it's all one except the last um, being A. So that's the um, generalized, that's the uh, low modification and the low addition in, uh, for QDs. So you can see it's, uh, it's a quite uh, similar uh, generalization from the qubit case. Okay, so now since we have, since we have this, um, this uh, low modification and the low addition, and then, then we can see the, Normal form for Q uh, for Q beads is we have a vector from a to a zero to a to two to m minus one, and then you start actually you start from O pi. That means you from a vector is O zero except the last is one, and then you do the multiplication and uh, you first do the low addition, and and the order doesn't matter, and then you add uh, the uh, uh, finally, you do the uh, row multiplication on the last row, and then you you have all of this. Uh, you have uh, uh, two to m minus one row additions in this normal form, and but the last one is this uh, row multiplication. So that's the normal form. Of course, I mean this can be sim uh, Of course, this can be simplified, but uh, um, but uh, in uh, for the purpose of. Uh, uh, a completeness proof. Uh, you, you 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 don't need to simplify. You don't need to simplify them. So that's the normal form of qubits. And uh, so the uh, very similarly, uh, since you have the low addition and the low multi multiplication for the qubits, then you can use the same idea. You can you can uh, have a normal form for the qubits. That means if you have a uh, a zero to a d to m minus one. And then you got this. Um, the, this K one. This K one means uh, uh, means this means the vector uh, and the K uh, cat uh, min, cat D minus one. So so basically that means uh, from uh, at the bottom this uh, yeah uh, at the, the top this is all um, means the the vector means all zero except the last this one. And then you can use the same idea. You can do uh, low multiplication uh, addition and a low 
multiplication at the at the end. And you can see that you can have you can do a, a simple uh, all the all the possible of this low uh, addition. So it's you you can calculate the, uh, that this is just a d two m minus one low additions and the plus this last one is uh, then you have d two m uh, this kind of low operations. So that's the normal form for the d uh, for the uh, qdits and uh, yeah. And so once you have the normal form, you can use uh, then then the, it's a looting uh, idea uh, to do how to how to how to do the completeness proof. And so I want now I want to combine all these QDs uh, all these QD um, diagrams in in one in a single framework. So the idea is is um, is simple. Uh, is uh, it, it, there are two uh, two things here? Uh, you need to be careful. One is you want to because you you combine all these diagrams together with different dimensions, so it's not the prop anymore, right? So it is now you need to label uh, each while. But uh, for uh, for simplicity, and so I just here I just label the D here. Then that means for the spider, all is uh, legs are uh, D dimensional. So uh, simply for the triangle and triangle inverse. And for now, the the the, uh, the swap is you can you can swap between different dimension S and T, and the, the thing is you need to also because you are now you are you are, you are combine them together, so you need to you need the the this box is uh, is a uh, is a uh, uh, I call is uh, kind of uh, how to say dimension binding box, and this is a di dimension splitting box. So, um. So that's the uh, the generators. You just label them and 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 add the the these two uh, two box. And uh, so so the what does it mean? I mean the, this in the the interpretation for these generators. I I mean the 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 uh, the, the other diagrams are generators can uh, the same as the QT case, right? So here I just need to to uh, interpret the these two box and this swap and the. the the box means uh, if you cat, uh, you can you can turn the k and the l from different uh, respect respectively from and the h s and h t the the Hebrew space and to the k plus d uh, uh, k times t plus l. So basically, this is a uh, is a canonical uh, from and the tensor of h s times uh, tensor. Of HS and HD to the HS times D, and this is a canonical basis correspondence, um, and similar, this is the inverse um, of this box, and uh, and also, I mean, the swap uh, and the swap is uh, is uh, on different dimension, but it's similar to the to the QD case. Okay, that's the interpretation of the uh, generators. And once you have them, and the loose, I mean, the QT, the loose uh, uh, are the same, right? So, but uh, you just need some loose uh, involve the, um, the this kind of boxes. So here, this, I just give some of them. So here are the, these two diagrams means they are uh, unitary, and these two boxes, they are, they are, they are unitary. And this means it's uh, associative. And this means they can uh, uh, interact with the green spider. The green spider uh, in this way, uh, and also if, if if one of them is just uh, is is just one uh, dimension one, and then of course this is then this is identity actually. So that's uh, that's some of the rules for the the box. Uh, Luke, uh, are S yeah. and and T the green spiders? Is that S T on the right hand side uh, vector concatenation? Sorry, I didn't uh, get uh, the the last one. So, I, I, how are we interpreting S and T? Are they vectors, and is ST therefore a vec what happens if you glue those vectors together? Or, uh, or is do you mean do you mean this one? Sorry, do you mean this? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, here, yeah, here, here. Just the, here, just means the dimension of the uh, each leg, each leg. Ah, right. Thank you. S times T. Yeah. So yeah, that's the the loose of the yeah. But for for completeness, uh, I may add more loose here. But uh, here I just. But for now, um, 
the last thing is we need to, uh, for the Kiffin in ZX, we want to have a normal form, right? We also want to have normal form. That means giving any arbitrary uh, uh, matrix of sides uh, S times T, right? S times T. So S times T, then that means that there are uh, S times T, uh, S, S times T elements. But I, I write, I, I would like to write the, the elements uh, in this way. And the first, the first, First law is from A0 to AT minus one, and then, then and so on. And you, you write it in this way. Once you write it in this way, then then what would be the normal form looks like? And it's very simple. And uh, you just use the normal form for the QD, uh, for the QD case. That means here, this part, this part, uh, uh, except for the, this uh, uh, splitting, dimension splitting box, uh, all of these kind of things that this re represent uh, the uh, vector from uh, from a zero to a uh, a s t minus one. So that represent this column as a column uh, vector. And then you use this uh, 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 dimension splitting box, and then you get a you get uh, and the previous this matrix. And this can be uh, can be uh, can calculate and verify. Uh, it's not difficult. So you can see this is uh, uh, this, this can be seen uh, it can be used as a normal form uh, as uh, for the Kufinian ZX calculus. And uh, what is good? And the, the interesting thing is uh, this normal form uh, you can see also works for matrices over actually commutative semi rings because here you can see there is no triangle inverse. So just uh, you need a triangle and the green the green spider. Uh, all of these kind of things they 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 can also uh, define in commute any commutative semi rings. So uh, so that means this normal form can also for, uh, works for the uh, commutative semi rings. And and another interesting maybe mine uh, maybe a, a minor one, but the interesting is uh, when we define um, multiplication of two matrices like M uh, of size S times T and N another matrix n of size u uh, u times uh, u times v and then of course when we define the multiplication of matrices we 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 we, we want to t my, uh, equal to u right but here you can see from this diagram you can see that if you want to represent this in this normal form then you can see that uh, is naturally because of uh, type matching is naturally to 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 uh, to let t uh, equal to u, so this is this is a kind of interesting uh, observation. Okay, so that's I think that's the uh, 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 the basic things I want to uh, uh, I want to um, report today. So so I just want to uh, um, mention a little bit of work, uh, future work. Uh, so the first the first thing of course is to um, Based on these normal forms to prove the completeness of QDZS ZS calculus and QFIN ZS calculus. And uh, first, uh, over compressed numbers and then up to the community assemblies. And the second thing is, I think is interesting is to, and uh, so, so that means for now we can represent any, we can represent any diagrams uh, uh, fi uh, finite uh, dimension. So that means. Uh, uh, we want to use the this uh, framework to reconstruct the finite dimensional uh, quantum theory. So, uh, so, 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 uh, so why why do we want to do this? Uh, I I think if we can do this, the, the good thing is you don't need you don't need the uh, probability theory or or any sum structure. Uh, just focus on compositionality. So that that I think it, it will be good uh, to use this framework to to do the reconstruction things. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Maybe this is like really obvious, but the, the dimension of uh, these wires are, can this just be any uh, positive yeah, natural yes. number? Yes, yes. 
So and and I, I didn't say and when when if it is uh, if, if this uh, dimension is one, then you can just uh, uh, use empty diagram to represent the type. Interesting. So uh, Harney, yeah. uh, in this normal form, you went mm -hmm. the route of uh, combining uh, all dimensions into a single wire. So if you had like, say, n qubits, you wouldn't have n wires, you would have a single wire, which is a two to the n dimensional system. Mm -hmm. I can imagine you can go the other way around and sort of decompose all of your wires into the prime factors. Yeah, and yeah. that you could also make a normal form in this way, which would be more similar to the normal form you found for qubits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is this something you have uh, you've considered or, or tried? Yeah, uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I tried, uh, I, I tried some, um, but this is an. I, I think this is an. Uh, I think I need uh, to do this kind of things when I do the completeness proof, especially for the for the QD the case, because uh, yeah, uh, yeah, for the QD case. Um, Because you can see, yeah, as you said, um, uh, um, a vector you can see it as from as in if it is like two two, like uh, how to say if it is in you can usually sometimes you can see it as in, in different uh, in different uh, QD right with a different dimension right QD to ZX. so it maybe has a different uh, different form. But you should you need to prove that they are equal. Um, my question is, uh, how does the dimension combining box look like? Like, uh, I give the interpretation here. Oh, thanks. Can that be broken down into into generators of uh, other generators of the Kufina calculus? I, I mean, because of the type, I mean, you can see, you can, can you see the, the important thing is that the, the type, I mean, is from S T to S times T. So, for, for, for the other oh, one. Oh, it's not, the yeah, other wouldn't be too sensible. Yeah, you, you want to connect them, different dimension. Hardy, um, yeah. have you have you considered potentially changing the shapes of the generators to reflect the what? fact that they're no longer sorry? Have you considered changing the shapes of the generators to mm -hmm. reflect that they no longer have the same symmetries as they do in the qubit case? Um, but I mean, that is, uh, I mean, in, in the qubit case, I mean, they they are um, how to say. In the qubit case, they, they are uh, symmetric, I mean, but in QD, like even C not, uh, you if you move uh, move move around, uh, then there is there's a kind of directional thing, right? Yeah. Yes. So, have you considered changing the the shape of them to reflect that lack of symmetry? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Okay, I, I I just found myself having to think quite hard while reading the diagrams to stop. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be good. I mean, it would be good to to have uh, I mean, it, at least uh, easy for realization in software, right? Yeah. Yeah, I also think uh, that for the combining d dimensions or not decombining dimensions, that it, the generator could be to show which of S and T is smaller, because right now it's cannot be can't tell. Um, yeah, I, so you want to, 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 how to say, to, to, uh, to make it smaller. So um, right now the symmetry looks like S and T are just two different inputs. And uh, I think the generator diagram design could be drawn so that it can always be unambiguous which of S and T is the smaller of the two. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, um, 
Uh, I mean, when we maybe when you uh, try to uh, apply it, you can maybe can find some uh, some uh, simplification. Oh, maybe just slanting. So instead of a trapezoid, it's an art, it's a quadrilateral such that like, say if S is smaller dimension than T, then mm -hmm. uh, it's slanted so that the input S is the smaller dimension. So it's not ambiguous which of the two is smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just for readability, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, is this the same generator that is used for the scalable ZX? Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's similar. I mean, the the uh, here, but here it's just that any dimension, uh, any final dimension. Yeah, that's very similar to to the to the scalable the X that that one. I mean, cool. Thank you. 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 Thank Mm -hmm. Like, uh, do you think that this would work in other for other uh, kind of classes of of props that are like of different dimensions? Like, for example, for like uh, like uh, the phase free ZS calculus, seen as like interacting mm -hmm. Hopf algebra, so you can have like different dimensions. Could you do you think you could apply a similar? Like, yeah, is this like a similar? Uh, yeah, I think it's quite possible because uh, if you consider if you consider phase free, yeah. Like, like what 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 specific uh, like are there any specific features that you're like using that are that are like uh, not kind of general to like other sorts of problems? Or is it like is this like a generic kind of? No, no, I mean the, I I act. Actually, I mean the the how to say. Um, actually, at the moment, I, I didn't prove the the uh, completeness. For, so so I think I I, I would guess that, that that there may be more rules uh, for uh, um, involve, uh, involving this uh, this kind of dimension splitting or finding box. Okay. Uh, Harney, yeah, I was uh, I was a bit surprised by your uh, definition of the uh, the triangle in the QDIT case because I was expecting to have a single one off diagonal, but you have ones uh, on the entire row of the first uh, basis state. Is like a single one something you've looked at and like it doesn't work or doesn't uh, work as nicely? Uh, uh, what is the other way? What the other way? So uh, so now you have ones everywhere on the first row. Yeah, I would have sort of expected that you would get a family of triangles where there is a single off diagonal one in uh, like a position of your choosing. So, um, so you would have a one in like the second position in the first row and the one in the third position in the first row. There would be different generators. Yeah, I mean, um, the the way I I get this uh, expression is um, many uh, uh, many because uh, I want. I want the addition rule here. I want the addition rule. So once one, I want the addition rule like this, then I can. Um, so basically, I can find the 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 uh, the form of the matrix for a triangle. Oh, and that makes then, sense. Yeah. Then 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 and then surprise some a kind of su surprising, and then you find that oh the other similar loops also uh, also works. So the. So yeah. And also the normal form. So so let, so I think this may be a good choice. But actually, but actually, I, I uh, if maybe some of you remember I, I tried with Kamfung before I, at the beginning because uh, ha, uh, because uh, uh, Amar has QD uh, the uh, ZW. So we tried we have tried to use the um, uh, to find a, a generalization of triangle uh, uh, in. Uh, according to Amas uh, QD to ZW, but uh, we find it's it's uh, it's very hard to to use. Like the the QD to ZW is that in his thesis or is that written in a paper somewhere? Yeah, in the thesis. Okay. Uh, I, I had another question about your normal form. Mm -hmm. um, 
because you, you have these uh, the two to the n minus one like repetitions of this row addition, but mm -hmm. the phases, these AI, are of a very regular form where they have like zeros everywhere except in the last position. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, like if if you if you because you said like of course uh, you only care about there's a normal form, um, and you want to reduce it to show completeness. But if you care about efficiency, like mm -hmm. could you do something where you are allowed to make these phases more complex? So you're allowed to use the other position. Yeah, I mean this is this uh, yeah this is a good question. I mean, but the, the problem is um, the problem is and uh, if the the phase is uh, uh, is more complex than then some property some pro properties are very hard to get. For example, here, for example, here to, to have this property, I want to, uh, this a uh, this diagram times uh, tensor with this identity is then I get this this one, and. Um, is any 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 correct to the 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 uh, how to say the, the the this special phase where all all the other are zero and here this is a for for the other for, for the other uh, uh, for the more complex more complicated phases uh, this doesn't work so so I, so I don't know in this case in this case I I I think I have to use this uh, kind of simple uh, phase. But, uh, okay, but that means that more complex phases are maybe not as nicely compositional. Uh, but you could imagine if your goal is to you uh, have a matrix and you want to write it as a the smallest possible Q to the next diagram possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, then, that, that, then that, then that, then you want to have uh, complicated cases. You are right. For example, if you want to to simplify your normal form, because uh, no, because in the, the the one good thing of this diagram is you don't need to. Usually, you don't need to uh, to to have every to 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 how to say indicate every element of the corresponding matrix. You you, you actually compress have a compress uh, you you actually compress the, the information of the the matrix, right? So if you want to simplify, I can imagine if you want to sim simplify a, a normal form like this, then then you will get uh, complicated. Uh, Phases like uh, I did this for qubit case. Um, I I, I s simplify it in the, the normal form for single, for just for single uh, uh, qubit matrix. So I think yes, if you do the simplification, you will get the complex uh, phases, complicated phases. Just, just out of curiosity, can you go to the slide where you like uh, give those rules for the, the like boxes that join dimensions together? Because I just want to look at it again. Do, do you mean this, this one? Oh, yeah, this one. Uh. Yeah, I'm just the, the, this this rule on the middle on the right. This is just. Uh, Sorry. I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to like figure what kind of. Uh, what kind of algebraic structure this this is because you have like a, a bunch of monoids yeah uh, that are like and they're associative and, uh, on each yeah for each box they have associativity i, I didn't do this diagram associativity unitality yeah le uh, left and right inverse but then this one identity yeah that one i'm just like trying to think like This is this is kind of the only weird one, right? But it's it's not really a monoid, right? Because you have these different types. It's sort of like a family of partial monoids. Wait, why is it not a monoid? Uh, because you can't have arbitrary inputs and outputs. Like the co-monoid, I guess. Uh, oh, because the types. Yes. Yeah. It's it's like monoid shaped. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah, no, it's not really a question. I'm just curious. I'd like to ask, uh, what would be necessary to show completeness? Like, what are the steps for that? I think. I mean, what, why, why do we want the completeness? Do you mean? Oh, what would be the steps to show completeness? Like, what do you? Oh, okay. Think that you would have okay. To okay. Uh, yeah. I mean. 
And once you have a normal form, you want uh, you want to show no, uh, like uh, like this uh, like this diagram. Once you have a, a normal form for for uh, like for example here, you have this matrix and uh, you have a diagram normal form can represent. Then then to show the completeness, you just need to show um, each type. You just need to show the each generator can be uh, can be can be rewritten into a normal form. And uh, the two um, tensor products, the tensor products of two normal form can be rewritten into a normal form. And uh, the composition of the uh, normal form, two normal form, can be uh, rewritten into a normal form. Then, then you're done. So, yeah, the idea is you need to show that if two diagrams they have the same semantics, and then they can be they can be rewritten into a norm, into the same normal form. That's the idea. And then you, you, you decompose into uh, the steps I mentioned. Because rewriting is invertible, a two directional, bi directional. So, I, I can't hear. So, for the when you're forming a complete set of rules for the Q finite ZX calculus, uh -huh. I'm sorry, I, do any rules involve more than one type of, of, of wire? Uh, yeah, some rules were, were like here, some rules were uh, involved uh, more than one type. Uh, good point, you've already got one. <laughs> Thank you. I was, just, I was just trying to work out whether it would look like essentially a, a, a disjoint copy of rules for the, for, for the Q-dit calculus for each value of D and yeah. how much interaction you would have between different dimensions. Yeah, yeah. Um, if no one has any questions about the, the results themselves, I have a sort of tangential question. Mm -hmm. So um, what, what I find uh, like hard about using, say, Qtrit or Qtrit ZX is that you can no longer freely bend wires from being inputs to being outputs in spiders. Because as you said, like if you have a C-naught shape mm -hmm. and you pull um, sort of the, the, the Z and X next to each other, then the inputs that the, the wire becomes from an input comes to an output, so you need to add like a dualizer. Mm -hmm. So if this asymmetry between inputs and outputs. Yeah. And I think this comes from the fact that the red node, uh, to go from red to green, you need to have a Hadamard on top and a Hadamard adjoint at the bottom or the other way around. Mm -hmm. So this, and because Hadamard is not equal to Hadamard adjoint, you get this asymmetry. Yeah. So could you, instead of this red node, have like a different spider where you say, okay, I don't put Hadamard on top and Hadamard edge on the bottom. I just put Hadamard everywhere. So that is still a symmetric thing and you can freely bend input. But that will probably mean you don't have strong complementarity. You have sort of a related rule. Um, I wonder if, if this is something you have looked at or if this is something you know is like badly behaved for other reasons. So I, I, don't know, I don't know anything about that, but, I, uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, even even you can, you can do this, but I'm not sure whether uh, in somewhere else, you, you still have the non-symmetry. So the, uh, um, you, you would have to have a, a sort of ZW cut style rule rather than a spider rule to merge them as well. Oh yeah, so so similar to, to ZH as well, where you can't just fuse yeah. things, you have to put something in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I tried it for future cases and um, found that you can't have a real, so it's not a joint AKA real. Um, you can't even have a real Hadamard. So so if you have like a red that's defined as a Hadamard, then a red, then a Hadamard. Um, you can't find, you can't have that Hadamard operation be real. And so therefore it can never be self adjoint Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. I mean, for example, if you uh, even, uh, uh, if you want to generalize this uh, uh, to the, uh, for example, ring or sampling case, you, 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 you need, you just you can you, you you need to directly define the the x spider uh, without the harma or harma dagger.
Yeah, so, so, so what I would was suggesting would result in a more complex matrix, like the red spider would no longer be some very nice matrix, but it might be, because you have more symmetries, it might topologically be an easier calculus. Um, but yeah, you would probably need to change all the rules that involve red things, because now you have to put Hadamard in certain places. So maybe you get these asymmetry back in other places. That's all. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know that in that case. <laughs> if I may add a remark, John, uh, I actually expect the matrices wouldn't be all that bad. Uh, they'd just be a little bit permuted from the one that you'd get from Harney's construction. Um, yeah, so I, I can't comment on whether the overall calculus would be all right, but actually uh, they'd be quite reasonable matrices if you care about matrices. And I expect that it may well come up with a calculus that's uh, simpler in many more features, if not necessarily all features. Any more questions? Should we thank uh, Harney again? Interesting talk. Uh,